Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.4 the latest update to iOS 18 which actually has been an amazing update with ton of new features and changes and there are also some pretty cool tricks that you need to know on iOS 18.4 that will help you a lot using your iPhone on a daily basis and of course will allow you to learn more about iOS 18.4 as well as do more stuff with your iPhone on this update. Now we're starting things off with Safari. Now as you probably know, Apple has added a new feature to Safari. It is called Recent Searches and what it does, it basically will show you the history of the searches that you have made once you tap the bar right there to go ahead and enter a website name or just search for something. This right here will show recent searches, just something like similar to Google suggestions. Now what you need to know here is the way you use this. You can actually even disable it if you don't want it, but I don't see any reason why someone wouldn't want to have this feature on their device because it's pretty cool. Now, if you have one of the recent searches right here and you want to do that search again, I can just go ahead and tap right there and it will remake the same search. But it's a bit different here if I just want to go ahead and add that search, but I want to add something to it. So if it shows right here, if I just don't want to search for it, but I want to add something to it, I can go ahead and tap that little arrow right there. And now you can see it will add that search, but I can go ahead and just add something else here. Like in this case, we're looking for NBA playoffs 2025. I can tap there to add a start date and then I can go ahead and make the search. So this is how you actually use the recent searches. And also if you just want to clear your recent searches, you will have that button right there to clear everything. I don't know why Apple didn't add a feature which would allow to actually individually clear this. Hopefully they will add it in the near future, but for now you can only clear everything. Now with iOS 18.4, you probably know that Apple has added ambient music. It's a pretty cool feature actually. You can have ambient music on your control center right here. You can add the toggles and of course you can play it from here. Now what's really cool is that you can also have access to the ambient music app. So right here, if we're playing something, you will see that we have right there the dynamic island. What I can do now is just tap there and it will take me basically into this app from where I can go ahead and choose where I want to play my music. I can of course go ahead and change the volume here with the slider or easier control whatever I'm playing or maybe even just see who basically the song and the artists are. So you will get the full experience of an app right there. Now it shows right there as you can see on the app switcher but then it will disappear but anytime you need to go to the ambient music like app you just tap right there on the dynamic island. Another pretty cool thing with the new ambient music is that you can of course change the playlist right here, but if you have Apple Music on your device, then what you can do is tap right there on the control and then tap right here from library. This will allow you to pick like a playlist that you have on your Apple Music app and set it right here, tap on choose, and then this will show you basically all the different playlists that you have set up on your Apple Music Library and you can go ahead and select one of them and then you can just use this button to play your own playlist. Now with iOS 18.4, Apple has introduced the new priority notifications for devices with Apple intelligence. Now when you receive one of those notifications on the lock screen of your device, if you tap on the options of that notification, you can now turn off prioritization for that app basically without having to go to the settings app. So if you go on the settings, you go to notifications, under priority notifications, you will have a full list of all of your apps that have these notifications enabled but if you just want to decide at that moment you want to turn it off you can simply tap on the options and turn it off using this button now here's another thing you need to know on ios 18.4 whenever you install this update on your device if you go under privacy and security and you go to location services right here if you head on right here to system services, you will have a new option. It is called improve location accuracy. Basically what it does is that it's helping Apple re just improve the location of devices. Now this is actually now turned on by default. So whenever you install this update on your device, you will have this option 
turned on. Now, what I suggest you do is go ahead and turn this off because it does consume a ton of battery. Now, one really cool thing you can do on iOS 18.4 is that you can quickly open any conversation you want on iMessage without having to even open the iMessage app and look for the conversation you need. So if I go to the shortcuts right here, I have this shortcut, which is called open conversation. I can go ahead and just maybe add this to the home screen of my device. I can just rename it or even add an icon to it. And there I have it. I can tap here and open any of the conversations I want. And it's actually very, very easy to create. All you have to do now with iOS 18.4 is tap the plus button here on the shortcuts app. And once you have done that, just search for conversation. And then we have open conversation. You tap right there, tap on conversation. It will show you a list of all the current conversations that you have on the iMessage app. You go ahead, tap one of them, tap the done button. And now you can use this shortcut to open the conversation from anywhere you want. Maybe on the home screen, use an icon, maybe even set it on your lock screen as one of the buttons, or maybe on the control center of your device using a toggle. It's very easy to set a conversation to be open from anywhere on your device. Now with iOS 18.4, you probably know that you can pause apps and games when they're downloading. Now you can do the same with updates as well. So if you're updating an app, you can actually go ahead and pause it at any time you want. Then we have the pause button and the resume button. As easy as that, you can pause and unpause any app while it's updating. With the podcast app on iOS 18.4, we have two new widgets. We have one for the library and one for your shows. While the one for the library will show your, your latest episodes right here, if you go to the one for the shows and tap the edit widget, you can select any show you want to show on the home screen of your device. So if you just want to display one of your shows right there and just have quick access to that show, you can pick whichever one you want, and then that one will be the one displayed on the new widget from the podcast app. Talking about the podcast app, you can also have quick access to your podcast settings. And you can do that now from the podcast app without having to even go through the settings app at all. So whenever you want to change any settings for your podcast, you can just go ahead and go to your account on the podcast app, tap right there and it takes you straight to your podcast settings. You can change here things, of course, like the downloads and remove episodes and all that. And of course, setting that you want from the podcast app, but now you will have have that quick shortcut directly from the podcast app. And last but not least, we're moving to the Photos app. You know, with the Photos app on iOS 18.4, you can now rearrange your media types and utilities as well. But what's really cool is that whenever you have like rearrange these and you want to go back to their default setup, you can just have that reset button and everything will be reset to their default. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.